Hey guys, welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I have an exciting tutorial for you. It's a Kylie Jenner inspired tutorial. It's this look that I'm wearing on my eyes here. She recently came out with the purple palette, which is in her Kylie Cosmetics line. And it was a beautiful palette, but obviously it's kind of pricey. I was inspired by it and I really wanted to create a purple eyeshadow look. I basically just used what I already had in my collection. I added one um, item, which was $6 at the drugstore. It was on sale at Rexall if you're in Canada that's uh, one of our drugstores here so I got that and then pretty much had everything else and just kind of played played around with it and I think I created a look that you could create with a Kylie Jenner purple palette or you can use my stuff for a lot cheaper so if you end up liking this review um, please hit that like button down below also if you uh, do end up liking my channel um, you can subscribe and hit that bell notification to get a notification when I post because it is a little sporadic I don't have a set schedule quite yet all right we're gonna get right into the tutorial and you can see how I created this eye look Hey guys, so getting into the tutorial, I'm just gonna do the one eye. I've already have the one eye completed. I already um, put concealer, foundation, all that on. I've also primed my eyelids with my trusty Urban Decay Primer Potion. So that does lighten up your eyelids a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's good to have a nice light base, but we're gonna make it even lighter because this purple shadow um, really needs to pop. So I'm gonna be using two shades in this CoverGirl True Naked uh, Jewels palette. I'm gonna be using this iridescent shade here. And then I'm also gonna be using this purple shade as well. So I'm just going in with that iridescent shadow. It's called Pearl. And I'm just gonna apply that to my eyelid. This might look weird, but I promise it will work. I'm just gonna build up the uh, crease first. I'm gonna be just using my Smashbox Shape Matters or Photo Matte Eyes. I don't know what this palette is called. It's just, I don't know. Basically, it's a bunch of neutral shadows. This is the palette here. I'm not saying you need to run out and go grab this palette. I'm just using what I have, which is what I would like you to do. Um, I don't think you need to run out and go grab the Kylie palette either, which is why I'm doing this look. So I'm gonna go in just with this um, neutrally brown shade called Dune to start building around our iridescent shadow that we have and just like bringing some depth into the eye. Kylie's makeup artist, he was using a shade called Stone from her palette to just um, bring some like depth to the eye and warmth. To me, it looked a little bit brownie, so I'm gonna do browns. I love warm shades. I mean, it's kind of like a cool tone brown, but still it's like bringing some warmth and some depth into the eye. Um, I'm also going to add a little bit of my Hoola bronzer to my eyelid to layer on top of that using the same brush. Just going in with this little Hoola bronzer and just putting that on over top of that uh, dune color we just added. Um, it just brings even more warmth and it's like a, it's a bronzer, but it's kind of like it's matte. Um, I'll keep that brush though as is because it's always good to blend out edges with. This shade is Amethyst here from the CoverGirl Jewel palette. We're gonna be going in and um, putting it on the lid with a flat um, packing brush. So this palette is really nice and like has some really neat colors. Um, it's also pretty inexpensive because it is from the drugstore, so I'm, I'm liking it so far. I haven't done too many looks with it yet, just been working on this purple look, but there's a green shade in it that has like gold sparkles. It's beautiful, guys. It is beautiful. But anyway, I'm putting this purple shadow, packing it down on the lid, not going up too high with it yet. Just working the color in and just packing it down. Starting to go up a little bit higher, meeting the crease color a bit. It has like a pinky sheen to it almost. I don't know. It has a cool, it's a cool color. All right, so if you want a more intense color, the best thing to do is get a setting spray. I have the uh, Photo Focus setting spray here. I'm gonna be going in with this, spraying it on my flat packing brush. And then we're gonna go back on that eyelid here with that wet brush and it gives you a little bit more dimension. And a little bit more shine as well. Definitely get more color payoff like this. All right, I'm just gonna go in with a um, short round blending brush, which I like to use. And then I'm just gonna blend out the edges that I just created with that 
purple shade and then it also starts blending the crease out with this purple as well. So that's the start. Um, the star of the show is actually going to be a product that I picked up this week. It is a loose pigment eyeshadow. This is by Fasanti. It's a loose pigment um, eyeshadow that is in the shade Twilight. It was on sale this week at Rexall, so that's why I picked it up. You can kind of see the purple shade that it is. It has a little bit of an iridescent duochrome effect to it. And so we're going to go in with a... Uh, I'm just going in with like the synthetic... Um, packing brush that I'm going to pack the shadow onto my eyelid with. Um, it is a little dangerous, it's a little bit messy as well, so I'm just going to put this down. I have a paper towel set out and I'm just going to go in over top of that purple shadow we've already added and this adds quite a pop of color, so be prepared. I really like these shadows. They were on sale for like six bucks at Rexall, so if you're in Canada, go grab them. They're really great. They had some really cool colors. They are kind of messy. But if you can get past the mess, they're beautiful shades and um, they works really great. I'm going back in with that brush, that fluffy brush that we used in the crease and just blending out the edges again. Just to get even more color, I'm just going back in with that, um, that flat packing brush that we just used for that um, Basanti shadow. I'm going back in with my spray, spraying that brush again, tapping a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with even more pigment, mostly concentrating on the lower part of the lid. Here and the outside as well. This is a beautiful shade. It has such a cool, like, iridescent glow to it. All right. So going back in with that uh, fluffy brush that we used on our eyelid that has the purpley shade from the CoverGirl still kind of on it, and just blending that harsh line out that we've kind of created. So we're going back in with that pearl shade from the CoverGirl palette. I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone and adding it to the inner corner as well. Just going in with a fluffy, uh, kind of fluffy brush. It's a fluffy round brush here. And just putting that on the inner corner and blending kind of up and into the crease that we've created. And then getting a little bit more and putting it on the brow bone as well. And a little bit more to the inner corner because she really had a pop on her uh, her eye kylie's eye all right so i'm going to go in and add some under uh the eye shadows and going with that purple shade again grabbing some on a liner brush here and just going in and kind of meeting where we started that um pop of color i'm just going and making sure it matches with the outer corner here Okay, and then we're just going in with that same liner brush and I'm gonna add the Visanti Loose Pigment Shadow in Twilight um, to the outer part and give it a little depth to the outside as well. So this is the look here. Um, obviously I need to apply the lashes and mascara like the other eye here. Um, so I will go do that and I will be right back. So I put on the lashes. These are from Ardell. They are the double up lashes here. I believe in 250 it said on the box, but I don't know. And then I have some L'Oreal Mascara Lush Lash Paradise on the bottom lashes here. This is the finished look. I can zoom you in so you can look. I really like how it turned out. It is definitely very purple, um, but I didn't bring it up too high above the um eyelids it's not too overpowering so it's like totally wearable so if you enjoyed that tutorial again if you want to hit that like button i would really appreciate it It helps me out a ton um and if you want to hit that subscribe button and see more of my videos then do that hit that bell notification so you can get um notifications whenever i post if you want to follow me on social media um i have my handles up here and you can click the links down below to go right to the pages to hit that follow button i would love to connect with you so that's all from me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are inspired to try to create your own purple eyeshadow look. If you did purchase that Kylie Jenner purple palette, let me know down below. And if you were thinking about it and now you're not, let me know that too. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I really enjoyed making it and I really liked the final look that I came out with. Um, I hope you did too. So I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope that I see you very soon.